Hello everyone, share technology, share life. In the previous video, I shared with you how to use a virtual machine to install Google GMS and Google applications, such as YouTube, Google Drive, Gmail. This method is applicable to all Huawei mobile phones and systems, such as EMUI 11 system and the latest Harmony OS 2 system, the latest P50, MatePad 11, all supported. If you still don't know how to install it, you can click on the link in the video description down below to watch it. So, in this video, I will share with you higher level methods of using Google Apps in a virtual machine, such as how to add shortcuts to YouTube, Google Drive, Gmail, etc., which can be accessed quickly and opened quickly with application shortcuts, how to quickly switch between the real phone and the virtual machine phone, how to get the message notification of the chat applications like WhatsApp, Facebook message in the real phone, so as not to miss the SMS messages in the virtual machine. Okay, let's go. Okay, now welcome to my Huawei phone. First, we check in the settings to have a look. My phone's software update to see the uh, system. You can see I'm using the Harmony OS 2, the latest version. So I've already upgraded to the Harmony OS. But this method I uh, mentioned using the virtual machine, which uh, uh, which is works which works for the EMUI 10, EMUI 11, and the Harmony OS 2. If you are using the with the if you are using the virtual machine to uh, you to install the Google GMS and using Google's applications. Okay, so first I will check you to show you the Gmail Drive and Maps YouTube because for this phone, this phone I have not yet installed the native Google GMS into this phone, the native Google GMS into this phone. So currently I cannot open the Gmail, for example, Gmail cannot open and the Drive cannot open, Map cannot open and YouTube cannot open. So because I'm not uh, in installed the uh, native Google GMS. So if you want to install the native Google GMS, then you can uh, uh, see the video description down below. I will give you the, I will provide the link down below. You can click that link to watch the tutorial on how to install the native Google GMS onto your real phone, on your real Huawei phones about uh, the Google GMS, okay? So I've in installed this uh, for application using the APK Pure, the third-party application uh, store, using this application store to install those uh, uh, applica Google applications, even though you are not within the Google App Store uh, installed, okay? So in this video, I will show you how to use the VMOS to using VMOS virtual machine to launch those uh, Gmail Drive maps on YouTube, such some kind of uh, uh, Google's application which require the Google GMS. Okay, let's have a look the VMOS here. Click VMOS. Then we can we can in uh, we can input the shortcut in for this uh, uh, virtual machine. For example, for this virtual machine to let you quickly to. Uh, open the application you want, for example, your YouTube. How to get there? Then we can click these uh, four, these four dots here. Click this one and click again. Then you can see this big screen. Then you can see this plus button here. Then you can click this plus button and you can add the YouTube and uh, Google App Store, Google, Google Map, Gmail, and uh, Google Drive, the Telegram, some some uh, some kind of uh, applications. So then you can see. Then you can uh, just uh, get these uh, shortcuts. Then if you want to, let's go back to the. This is your real phone. Then you get you to the virtual machine here. Then you click the App Store. Okay, so you can see you can uh, quickly get uh, open this app store quickly. Then you can search the application that you want to uh, install into your virtual machine. Then we go back to your virtual machine here. So this is your virtual machine and you can go back to your desktop. This is your real phone. So you can quickly switch, quickly change from your virtual machine to your real phone. Now it's a virtual machine. So you can see in the virtual machine, you can open Google App Store and open Google Drive. Yeah, you can see you can open Google Drive and uh, you can also open Google Map. My location can be found uh, quickly. So if you cannot find your location, you're just waiting for, wait for several seconds, for example, like a third, uh, 30 seconds, then the location will be fine. Just be patient. Okay, let's go back. 
then you can open the YouTube in the virtual machine. Yeah, YouTube opened successfully. Let's go back. Go back to your real phone and you want to using your virtual machine, then just quickly switch back and switch back to your uh, real phone. Switch back to the virtual machine. So it's very quick. So, it, so for, and then I will close the virtual machine again. I will shut down the virtual machine. And if you want to uh, open the virtual machine again, click this one. And you want to uh, click the shortcut, then you can open the applications directly, quickly. Let's go click, for example, click the YouTube. Yeah, you can see the YouTube can be opened quickly, directly from the virtual machine. The so uh, you can see the YouTube can be played uh, easily. Then if you want to switch off your, your screen, then you can, for example, you are jogging or you are walking, just to plug in your earphone and uh, put the uh, phone into your pocket. Just to listen to this uh, sound, uh, vocal sound, listen to your news, something like that, then it will be battery saving. Okay, then I will... I will uh, volume down this uh, screen. Just uh, go to your uh, go to your real phone desktop. You can see it is still playing in the background. And go back to the virtual virtual machine. Yeah, you can see this uh, phone is here. And uh, close this uh, close this screen. Then you can see it still can be played in the background. So very useful, right? Okay. So go back. Okay. I just. Uh, uh, temporarily not playing. So then uh, let's have a look of the other settings to get, let's have a try how to get the short message uh, notification from the real phone. Let's go to the settings here, go back and go to the settings, to go to the high level uh, settings to let you get to the notification. Okay, let's go to the authority and uh, go to the background keep alive. Let's click switch on this button. So let the virtual machine run in the background for a long time without being killed by your real phone to let you not missing the short message notifications. Okay, then we go back to the notice here. You can see uh, notice here, this, this button. Switch on this button. Yeah, notice. Then if you uh, will just receive the, the uh, short message, like WhatsApp message, Facebook message, then you can uh, just uh, uh, switch on this notice. Then you can receive the notice in the background. Okay, let's go back. And uh, uh, we'll open the Telegram here. Open the Telegram and uh, go back to the real phone. Yeah, you can see I am go back to a real phone and I'm I will use another phone to send a, a short message to this uh, uh, virtual machine and you will get a notification from your real phone to let you not missing any uh, short message notification. Okay, now you see I will use my another phone to, res to uh, send a new message to, to the telegram in the virtual machine and this uh, real phone, uh, the Huawei real phone will receive the uh, short message notifications. Okay, uh, let's have a try. HH, I will send a message to the Huawei phone. You can see you get the uh, notification here. And I send another one. Yeah, so you cannot missing the uh, short message notifications. And then we go back to the uh, virtual machine. You can see your message is received by the telegram. So the notification can be received uh, successfully. Okay, so let's go to another settings here. This settings, and you can change the language here, language and input. If you are using like English, then you can add uh, English. If you are using other language, you just change the language here then, uh, to a local language. So this is a very useful function for you if you want to change the language. So this virtual machine is very user friendly. If you are not, uh, I mean, if you are not, uh, your phone is not uh, uh, support the like the latest native Google GMS installation method, then you can use a VMOS, this virtual machine to install the uh, Google GMS, Google's environment then you can use your YouTube Maps and Drivers Gmail on your phone like for your phone like P4, P5, 
P50 and the MatePad 11 Pro, such kind of those latest uh, ship from the factory, already originally uh, installed with the Harmony OS 2. So this method is very perfect for your phones, uh, including all Huawei's and the, and the Nova series and uh, the Honor series. All kind of series can be installed this uh, virtual machine uh, using the Google's application successfully and easily. If you like my sharing, don't forget to thumb up and subscribe this channel to avoid missing future updates. See you next time in the next video. Bye-bye.